Well, hi there now, then Alliance Church Band. I just wanted to come to you to give you an update on a decision that I've made to uh, whether or not to use the chord chart on the stage screen in the back uh, rather than going in with music. And uh, so I appreciate your thoughts about that. I appreciate sharing uh, for some of you that was going to create some major issues and I, and I need to know that. And so I'm grateful that you shared those things with me. So this is what I'm going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. But it's going to be a, uh, a very easy um, transition that uh, I'm, I'm going to try to find some songs where, where God is glorified and people are drawn to worship him with and find some songs that we are a little bit just naturally easier on, maybe songs that we've done more in the past and a recent past, and uh, do those songs uh, so that uh, it kind of is already in our muscle memory and that kind of thing on guitar, on drum, and all of that, and, and so that we can get out of the music. Because let me describe why we're moving forward as a potential with this, is that I was at a conference about a month ago or so, uh, just a, over the video conference, and... and um, so I was in my office here, and they did a, a one-hour gathering with a bunch of different uh, worship leaders from the country and some pretty uh, Meredith Andrews. It was pretty cool. And one guy said, it was Mark Harris from Gateway Church down in Texas, who was part of For Him uh, back in the day of the 90s and early 2000s, uh, worship pastor there at Gateway. He said that what we're trying to do as a worship team is to have a relationship with God and have a relationship with people and connect those two and invite those two to a relationship with one another. That's what we do as a band. That's what we do as worship leaders. You are a worship leader much more uh, and is equal as I am a worship leader. So um, so with, with that said... I, you know, we encourage a relationship with God. We do that. We do that as, as well as we can, and we keep growing in that. And, uh, but our connection with the people on the stage, the connection with the people on the stage just simply needs improvement. We need to walk a little bit better and intentional with that. And so uh, one of the things that I struggle with, I know in my just one-on-one -on -one conversations, is can I look people in the eye? You know, sometimes that's easy. A lot of other times, for some reason, it's just not easy. I don't know what to say. I'm insecure, and so I kind of look at different things, and um, and there's a disconnect with those with that relationship in that moment. Now, I think it's really important that you have a relationship with the people in the congregation off of the stage, and uh, so you have that. But I don't want to I don't want to lose that or or minimize that or simplify that when we're on the stage, I want to make that even rise up, that what we're doing in that moment is tremendously important, okay? So, uh, and this resource, uh, I, I think just simply by looking people in the eye, or at least looking at the back screen, looking a little bit past them, uh, should help a little bit of that, that there's a, a little bit more engagement. Now, so what I'm going to suggest you to do is that in certain parts of the song where uh, you know that you need a little bit more uh, face in the music. And, th and I know that. There are songs, we just introduced the song, uh, His Glory and My Good. And my head was in the music 99% of the time. Sometimes that's what is required to do the song well. I understand that. So I want to share the weight of that. And I want to see if you can transition from, from just locking your head into the music uh, and, and, and getting out of the music and up. So like on a chorus that you're going to do, that you know the chorus, you've got the chorus down, that you can get your head up and you can even plan this in your uh, programming of what it looks like from week to week, that when your head goes back down, okay, where's the verse? Mark it. I mark mine with a little, little half box. And uh, because my eye will be drawn to that right away. So that's just an idea. We're going to start that September 8. Um, no worries or fears in terms of uh, how that's going to look. But I appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you soon.